Great day, great day. Today is about if you just get started. If you just get started. So I'm gonna tell y'all about something that happened with me and my son. Well, one day, it was a Sunday. I let him play all day long. I let him play all day long. Holy Spirit, speak to me, speak to me. I let him play all day. To the point where at the end of the day, I'm like peeking in his room. And I'm like, woo-wee. Oh, he gonna be mad when I tell him he gotta clean this stuff up. He finna be hot when I tell him he gotta clean all these toys up. But I let him play, I let him play all day. So finally I tell him, I said, L, it's time to clean up your room. Oh, oh man. Oh, he just going on and on and on. He huffing and puffing. You have been in your room all day playing with your little invisible friends. Now it's time to clean up where they at. They ain't here to help. I'm like, L, start cleaning your room up. I walk out. I go do whatever I'm doing. I come back. He ain't made enough progress. I go back out. Time then passed a little bit to the point where I'm like, oh, let me go check on L. Go check on L. I see he making some, some little headway. I'm like, okay, all right, cool. So I said, L, you can go ahead and, cause he wanted his tab, his tablet and his laptop so he could create his game. And so I said, you can go ahead and get your tablet and your laptop and go in the living room and I'll finish cleaning up your room. So I finished cleaning up his room. And in the midst of it, God said, sometimes I'm just waiting on you to get started. God said, if you just get started, if you just begin, if you just start studying, if you just pull your credit report <laughs> and see what's on it, God said, I just want you to put forth some effort. Let me see. God just want to see you put forth some effort on the things that you said you want. I'm double dog daring you that whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, I want you to make one step. I want you to make one step toward it. All I was waiting on was my son to begin cleaning up. I just wanted him to I just wanted him to begin cleaning up. I already had in my mind that I was going to come back and help him. I don't know who I'm talking to. God said if I just I just need to see you putting in some work. Before this message started coming in, y'all, I was getting some about hopping out on feet. I'm real street, y'all. I'm real street. I don't care how I look. I'm real street. It's like, hop out on feet. What you talking about? Where we at right now, in month of August, you're going to have to hop out on feet. This is how you know in the streets that when somebody is after another person in the streets and it's violence, is if they hop out on feet. It's one thing to shoot outside the car. You in the car, you shooting from the car. It's another thing to hop out on feet. Because not only are you taking a risk, <laughs> God said you're going to have to take some risk. Straight up. You're going to have to take some risk. It's going to seem like a risk. See, and that's why... People in the streets, sometimes it seems like they be up because they willing to take risk. They're willing to sacrifice some things for the overall goal. You're going to have to hop out on feet. You're going to have to go see about your blessing. You're going to have to call some people. You're going to have to make some phone calls. You're going to have to pull your credit report. You're going to have to spruce up your resume. You're going to have to do that fast for Whatever it is. Baby, you're going to have to call around till you get the right one on the right day. You're going to have to hop out on feet. You're going to have to show God how bad 
you want it. I want mine bad. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. You you hop out in front of this Honda, baby. You good as two. You good as two. Cause I'm on a mission. I said if you just get started, I just need to see you get started, baby. <laughs> I just need to see some some effort, baby. I love y'all. Peace.